when I think of Evan, it would be um, with his friends on a baseball field, maybe nine, ten years old. We always brought our children up to appreciate the community that they were raised in, to give back to the community um, because they had given to them. He, he shined in that. He, he loved to be in his community and with the youth. Everything that he was involved in as far as sports and extracurricular activities all, you know, hinged on, uh, you know, his confidence. Everything that he did academically wise, he had to really work for. If he was going to do something, he wanted to do it the best of his ability. So We had a conversation um, at Aquinas College and um, it, the opportunity presented itself that he could walk on and um, he, he was able to make the baseball team. He came home Friday night um, quite late. He had just played um, a fall ball game, a scrimmage, and it had driven home, so two and a half, three hours home. Um, then got up the next morning, Saturday morning, and headed out to the high school for our youth football games. It doesn't seem like it, but officiating four f youth football games, it, it's, it's tough. He made the decision on Saturday night to um, leave his girlfriend's house about 8.30 at night. Um, he was alone on his way back to school. And um, fell asleep and um, literally hit the only tree within a two mile either way of it. And at uh, four feet to one side or the other, he slides into a cornfield and is totally unscathed. But for whatever reason, he hit the tree right in the middle of the car. He had a severely uh, dislocated and broken left ankle, a broken pelvis, and uh, then the closed head trauma that they needed to, to go in and release the pressure. Lydia and I had just came back from the waiting room and Dr. Adams was in the room looking at all of Evan's pictures, and he was crying. Um, obviously they have to give him time um, for your brain to stop swelling. And, um, but I, I think he knew. So Gift of Life was called and they came in to support us and give us the information that we needed um, to know what Evan could do to help another individual. Um, organ donation isn't a conversation that we had had. He did make the decision to um, check the box and um, possibly give someone um, that opportunity. I think it was a very mature decision on his part. We didn't have to make any hard choices because he'd already made them. He himself uh, saved five lives um, and gave two people sight and countless others received tissue. Well, I'd like to imagine that uh, his ACL is in, in, in some football player's body. You know, maybe another college athlete was able to extend his career. When I think of Evan, it would be competent and giving 18-year-old man that was able to change a lot of lives in a very short period of time. He was a good person.